So in this video, I really want to teach you how to perform the overhead press. So the overhead press is one of my favorite exercises. It's probably one of the most important exercises in developing the physique that I've developed. It's definitely an essential uh, exercise if you, if you want to get overall really strong and build a really nice upper body. So a lot of people are very strong on the bench press. A lot of people are very strong on, you know, just chest presses in general, but they're typically weak as shit on the overhead press. And that's, that's why you'll see a lot of people, a lot of people have really like well developed, a really well developed chest, but they don't have the nice shoulders to go along with it. And so it's kind of a shitty, it's kind of a shitty aesthetic. It doesn't look that great in my opinion. You want to have a balance, you want to have the balance between the shoulders and the chest. Because when your shoulders are flat and then your chest is big, you kind of just look like you have tits, you kind of look feminine. So you really want to fucking develop those bolder shoulders and there's no better exercise guys than the strict press, okay? So I'm going to teach you guys how I've been able to build my standing press to a pretty high degree of strength. Um, this, I already did my presses today so I'm not going to load it with weight for you guys, but I'll show you guys the, the correct form and I'll give you guys some really good tips on how to build a really strong overhead press. So this morning I hit uh, one, I'm, I'm at a body weight, I'm, I'm 17 years old, I'm at a body weight at, um, at around 170. Uh, I hover kind of around 168, 170, I'm pretty lean. Um, and I just did 145 for six. So I'll show you guys kind of how this is done and some tips, okay? So the first thing guys, a lot of people, a lot of people will perform their bench presses like this, um, you know, with the normal grip. I found that I, you can experiment with this for yourself, but I found with the standing press, I actually like the false grip. So the false grip is where you keep your thumb um, in line with the rest of your fingers. Instead of gripping it like this, you grip it like that. And I find that gives me a really good base to press off of. I, I don't really, I don't know exactly why, but I've just found that to be much more, um, much more ideal for the standing press. So I'll show you guys the basis of how this kind of works. So. First of all, you don't want to grip the bar like this, like a normal bench press. You don't. You you can either go, um, you know, just wider than shoulder width, shoulder width, or shoulder width. I prefer to go shoulder width. So some people will like it like this. I pref I pre I prefer doing it a little bit closer like this. I just find it helps me stay tighter, and it gives me um it gives me a better like base to press off of. So one thing that's really important to know with the overhead press, guys, it's all about staying really fucking tight. You can stay really tight like throughout your whole entire body because this exercise is going to um, it's going to identify any weak points you have in your physique. So if you have if you have weak ass legs, you're not gonna be able to press. You're not gonna be able to do very heavy overhead presses. So it's all about like be, to be able to be strong at this exercise. You have to be well developed and on every part of your body. You can't really have any le lagging muscle groups. So here's how, here's how it first is done. So you want to go up to the bar, you want to grip it around shoulder width. I usually like to put my thumb so that it's right just inside of the, um, inside of the knurling. So I grip it like this, I'll grab it tight like that. And then one thing that's really, really helpful with the overhead press, this was a tip I learned a while ago. Instead of just going up to the bar and then unracking and then going, I like to go like this. So watch what I do. Instead of going like this and then bringing it up and then pressing, I'll go like this. So I'll stand like this, I'll grip the bar really tight, and I'll go under like that. So I create, a, I really tuck my elbows in. So my elbows are really tucked in. So then this gives you a really good place to, um, this gives you a really tight base to push from. So you're like this with your elbows tucked under, and then you see your upper body's really tight. And then what you wanna do is you wanna squeeze your glutes really fucking tight. You wanna squeeze them like crazy. And you want to squeeze your core and you want to keep your feet uh, close together. You don't want to be wide with your feet. You want to be really close. So, and then from here, you want to go like that. Like that. So, really important, guys. It's all about staying tight. So, I'll give you guys another angle on this, but you guys get the point, right? So, if you're like, if you're loose, you're not really like tight. Like if you grip the bar, you're just coming up to the bar, you're unracking it. No, you want to grip the bar really tight and you want to come under like that. So you create really, instead of your elbows being out here, they're under here and they're really tucked. And then you're in a tight position to then press. So it's important guys. It's really important to keep your feet close together. So when my feet are close together, it's much easier for me to squeeze and activate my glutes. So you'll notice guys, like as soon as you start really fucking squeezing your glutes, 
on this exercise, you'll be able to lift a hell of a lot more weight. So it's really important you learn how to activate your glutes, activate your whole lower body, keep your core really tight. And you want to go like this. The breathing is important too. It's a very taxing exercise, so you don't want to just be fucking around with your breathing. You want to go like this, like. Like that. So, and you really want to explode, guys. You really want to fucking explode. You don't want to just be like slowly going at. You want to really use your whole body, but you also want to make sure that you're not going like this because that's more of a push press. And yes, the push press is a great exercise. I, I'll, I'll rotate it in for my standing press when I stall on this exercise. But when, when we're here, when we're doing this, it's for the strict press. So keeping your legs really tight, your glutes tight, your core tight, squeezing the bar as hard as you can. Like try, try out the false grip. I just find it a lot more, um, a lot better for this exercise. And then, um, and then yeah, from that point, you're in a really good position, position to press and you really want to explode on those reps. So I'll show you guys a different angle here. So you want to keep your feet really tight, like really close together like that. You're squeezing your glutes and then you want to come like this under it's really tight. And then so really important to get your um, get your whole body super tight and ready for the press so another thing that's really important guys is that a lot of people will when they're when they're doing the overhead press they'll press and they'll kind of come down like this so I'll show you guys how this looks they'll be pressing it and then they're like this they go up and then you really want to touch your chest guys you're not really doing the full press if you're not coming down touching your um, your collarbone so you really want to touch your collarbone and then like that. Really fucking, really make sure you're breathing properly too. That's a really important part of this movement. So hopefully that gave you guys a um, hopefully that gave you guys a better idea of how this exercise is performed. And those are some tips on how you can actually get the most out of this exercise because getting strong on this exercise is is, is essential to building really nice shoulders. So. I, I like to do my, sh um, a lot of people like to do seated dumbbell presses, but I, it's, if you're trying to really go for fitness and like, um, you know, athleticism, it's important you do your shoulder work standing. So uh, doing a seated shoulder presses, like you, you, a lot of people do them like out like that with their elbows flared and you're really risking injury. And I've fucked up my shoulders a couple times doing them and I've just found much better gains from doing my shoulder presses standing. So... If you guys stall on the overhead press, you could always switch to the push presses. You could do, um, you know, dumbbell presses. Just it's, it's really important to do your um, your shoulder work standing because also you're going to get a lot more. Um, you're going to be working your whole body rather than if you're just sitting there, you're just working your shoulders. So you want to do like full body movements that recruit the most muscle fibers are the, are the movements that are going to give you the biggest bang for your buck. So like that's your squats, your deadlifts, you know, your bench presses. Um, overhead presses, chin ups, like those are the movements that are going to recruit the most muscle fibers in your body. And those are the ones that are going to be growing you to the, to the extent that you want. It's not about doing fluff guys. It's about getting strong on the big exercises. And this is one of the exercises that you absolutely need to get strong on. This is going to give you that wide, like wide shoulder base and it's going to carry over to your bench press too. And so that's really it for this video guys. If you enjoy this video, drop a like, subscribe, Leave me a comment if you have any questions. Check me out on Instagram. It's where I'm most active. Check out my blogs where I'm posting new blogs weekly. I'll talk to you guys next time.